get braids, watch out. The Better Business Bureau is now getting reports of scams targeting clients who want that style, and they're using real stylist work to do it. News 2's Corey Johnson explains. I'm Portia, the all one diva. She does it all. For the last 10 years, Portia Hensley has braided hair. She got licensed in 2005, shortly after opening her own salon, Divine Innovation 615 in Nashville. I do box braids, I do weaving services, I do feed-ins, I do twists. With summer in full swing, braids are a popular protective style to book. It's not uncommon for clients to get on social media and find braid styles that they liked. These styles can cost hundreds of dollars. In order to book them, it's common practice for a small deposit to be made in order to be placed on the stylist calendar. It's work Portia tells News 2 she's found passion in. I feel creative. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm creating something for my client um, that empowers them to go through life and their day feeling good and looking good about themselves. But the braiding booking process is something scammers are now on to. According to the Better Business Bureau of Middle Tennessee, they've gotten reports of bad actors taking pictures from other stylists and posting them to fake social media pages, claiming they can do the work. Then when a potential client goes to book and sends a deposit, they don't find out until their appointment when they never hear from that person that it was actually a scam. It's a legal activity that's impacted Porsche's business this year. I had a client call and say, hey, I'm at the door, and I'm, and I'm like, what door? You know, I'm with a client, and we come to find out that the person actually took their money, took a deposit. It was shocking that they used so much of my stuff that I work hard for, and I felt bad that I couldn't help her. And Portia isn't alone. BBB officials say they've received a few reports of scams involving braids. Unfortunately, social media scams are not new. We see scams ebb and flow every day based on what's going on in the marketplace. There are a few steps you can take to make sure you don't fall victim, including never pay for a service in full before the appointment. Visit the location where the braider claims to work before booking. Verify their work by searching for the stylist online and typing in scam after their name and ask for their braider license number and look them up. Despite a scammer using her pictures, Portia says she's not deterred from continuing to do the work she loves. No, there's nothing that anyone can do to stop what's in store. Corey Johnson, News 2. Now, if you or someone you know has been the victim of a braiding scam, contact the Better Business Bureau and fill out a report.